The universe is filled with new and exciting discoveries every day, prompting us to ponder and learn. Even with the latest technological advances, there are still many unknowns in the macrocosm that need to be explored. Physical phenomena in the outer reaches of our galaxy remain largely unexplored and mysterious. Magnetars are some of the most remarkable objects in deep space, and today we will discuss their extraordinary strength and radiative power. They have the ability to baffle and frighten space adventurers with their sheer power and magnetism magnitude, which is far greater than that of any other creature in the universe. Over the past half-century, humanity has frequently encountered unexplained cosmic radiation from space, although astrophysicists have not always been able to successfully identify its source. In 1979, three U.S. satellites detected an unusual gamma-ray burst that was inconsistent with terrestrial nuclear tests. This led 92 astrophysicists to hypothesize the existence of a previously unknown celestial body emitting large amounts of electromagnetic radiation. In 2004, a strange anomaly was discovered in the constellation Eagle, which was about 10,000 light-years away. It caused all telescopes on Earth to go blind for a moment due to 98 flashes. Measuring instruments showed that these flashes passed through every square centimeter of our solar system. Scientists have detected the most powerful gamma-ray burst ever observed emanating from a neutron star with an incredibly strong magnetic field of 10 to the 13th Tesla. It is believed that an understanding of this magnetar discovery may provide answers to many mysteries about its nature. A supernova is a cosmic phenomenon, incredibly rare and incredibly dangerous. It emits an energy that is almost a trillion times the electromagnetic radiation of Earth, and it happens when supermassive stars near the end of their lives undergo a catastrophic explosion. There are many ways to self-development, but only one particular event that can make you a magnetar is Russian Roulette. This game is familiar to many by now, featuring a revolver drum with one cartridge inside and a probability of falling out when the trigger is pulled. Although rare, when the formation of a magnetar affects the rotation and energy of a star, the consequences can be enormous. This phenomenon has been widely debated among scientists as to what exactly constitutes such a phenomenon. So far, the first theory on the subject is correct. When a neutron star is born, it begins to rotate rapidly, and its internal energy together with the rotation force creates a strong magnetic field. This process is called an active dynamo in science. Researchers have hypothesized that magnetars receive energy from another star during accretion. The available evidence suggests that in the future there may be a moving magnetar that will leave the galaxy. Many of the celestial bodies we observe in the night sky are the result of a supernova explosion in a double star system. This means that two stars in the same system share a common center of mass, and as they revolve around each other, an accretion process occurs. In the case of a potential magnetar, material from one star gradually flows into the other, supplying it with energy, just as a basketball gets energy from the person who throws it. The path of a magnetar is determined by its own rotational speed. This can be from tens to several thousand revolutions per second, which affects the direction of fall. Once the magnetar begins to spin, it will eventually stop no matter how fast or slow it moves. Magnetars are incredibly small compared to the moon, with a diameter of only 20 to 30 kilometers. However, their masses can vary considerably, making it difficult to measure them accurately. For comparison, the diameter of the moon is 3,474 kilometers, almost 173 times larger than the average magnetar. Although magnetars with a radius of 15 kilometers are quite small in comparison, their internal density is so high that it gives them much more mass than our sun. This also causes them to emit extremely strong magnetic radiation. Anomalous X-ray pulsars are located 9,000 light-years away in the constellation of Kiel. It is believed that this is a kind of magnetar with a mass 30 to 40 times greater than that of our sun. The density of matter on the stars is incredibly high. If a man appeared on the surface of one of them, he would be crushed by the enormous weight, even something as small as the cap from a ballpoint pen would weigh billions of tons. Over the past few years, 
An astronomer from NASA has used the Space Gamma Ray Telescope farm to study X-ray bursts and has successfully determined that the source of these bursts is a magnetar labeled J181. A magnetic field is an invisible force that surrounds every moving electric charge and creates a force that can attract or repel other objects. When stars reach the end of their lives, they tend to release enormous amounts of energy in stellar explosions. This is known as pulsating electricity, and it releases enormous amounts of energy into space. If a particularly active magnetar found its way into the solar system, it would be so powerful that organic life on Earth, including the ozone layer, would not have time to react to its presence. If the magnetar, which is a neutron star with an extremely powerful magnetic field, were to pass close to Earth, it would cause unimaginable destruction. Fortunately, however, the magnetar closest to us is far enough away that we cannot get close to it because of its gravitational force. Stars are known to emit bursts of energy called Star 37 that can be detected hundreds of thousands of kilometers away. The magnetic field surrounding it is usually stable and is known to disable electrical appliances within a radius of thousands of kilometers. Scientists have divided magnetars into two classes and used abbreviations for convenience. The abbreviation SGR stands for Soft Gamma Repeater, which is usually found in astrocatalogs and is denoted by the letter G. This classification, also known as the Home Repeater Classification, indicates that the source emits soft gamma rays. X-ray pulsars are objects thought to go through different life stages. In the first 10,000 years, they may become magnetars emitting both X-rays and gamma rays. JAR and XP are two different phases in the evolutionary process of this object. Pulsars are astronomical bodies that emit soft gamma rays which can be seen with the naked eye, but with time they lose their properties and become invisible in the visible range. X-rays, however, allow us to observe them again. Scientists have studied billions of neutron stars from various sources and found that there are about 30 to 150 potential magnetars. Research shows that there are about 12 magnetars in the Milky Way, the closest of which is 1 times 10 to the power of 22, located 13,000 light years from Earth. Magnetars are the source of soft gamma ray bursts, but they pose no danger to us. The small size of magnetars allow us to observe them at a distance in amateur telescopes, but it is impossible for amateurs to observe changes in the upper ionosphere because of these stars. Astronomers often use infrared or X-ray scans of the night sky to study stars that emit strong magnetic fields and radiation. These stars can be easily detected with special instruments, making the task much easier than it was in 2013. Astronomers have found a magnetar located just 0.3 light-years from the center of our Milky Way galaxy. This exciting discovery was made possible by various orbiting telescopes, including the Chandra X-ray Observatory, between JR-17 and 290. Today, scientists can detect neutron stars next to other objects, using a previously inaccessible scale. This is a remarkable breakthrough, as it is the only type of star that can be identified in this way. Since its discovery, astronomers have been observing the magnetar Joel. In recent years, the same research group has noted a decrease in its X-ray emission levels compared to other stars. Recent reports have sparked much talk about the potential source of these modifications, could it be due to close proximity to the black hole? After two years of research, astrophysicists studying SDR-174 have determined that a distance of three-tenths of a light year between a black hole and a magnetar is not sufficient for any interaction. Magnetic or gravitational fields may be responsible for the different lifetimes of stellar formations. Magnetar is relatively small, its lifespan is only about a million years, and the magnetic field strength is steadily decreasing. Some scientists suggest that certain stellar objects, such as magnetars, may be more prone to class shifts and less likely to deplete their stock of material. Thus, their prevalence could potentially change over time. When a star approaches the end of its life, it may shift from one category to another. For example, a magnetar may eventually become a thermal neutron star due to the decay of its magnetic field. 
A particular group of stars known as the A Magnificent Seven have gained popularity in the space community. They are believed to be some of the most dangerous objects far out in space, and it is estimated that there are only seven of them. It will take many years of technological advancement and dedicated people willing to dedicate their lives to solving the greatest mysteries of the universe and finding solutions to its most complex objects.